What this show, Code Switch, is basically a survey of the last decade or so of um, projects and artworks that I've been making with antique pre-1900 quilts. The genesis started from various places, but I would say one of the pivotal moments was seeing the G's Bend quilt show at the Whitney and how beautiful those quilts were and how they stood as true examples of great modernist and contemporary work. One of the reasons that G's Bend show was so instrumental to me was because of seeing the work made by this group of women in this bastion of basically white male modernism and contemporary painting. Um, and the work held its own. In fact, it was uh, very inspiring because there were the aesthetics, but then there was also the fact that these were black women in that space. And it got me to thinking a lot about the politics that are embedded in materials. A few years later, I was doing a project in Philadelphia uh, where I initially thought of doing something related to some of the great stained glass um, installations throughout the city. But as I started doing more research, quilts started popping up again. And then I first heard of the rumored history that they were involved as signposts on the Underground Railroad. And that got me thinking about code and codes in a much larger term. I believe that contemporary art is full of codes. I also am very interested in technology as we all are embedded in it right now. So there's that notion of code. But I was thinking more specifically about me doing artworks on antique quilts and that that would be somehow a transgenerational conversation within aesthetic code. So codes and the patterns and the geometry are already in the quilts and then further layers of code that I would embed by using spray paint, charcoal, tar, glitter, uh, oil stick, you name it. Yeah, it's very hard for me to be prescriptive of what I want the viewers to get from this uh, exhibition, but what I would like for them to do is definitely experience the materiality. Look very closely at all the pieces. It's one thing to see it from a distance and get the sort of overall view, but the closer you get, you start to see these incredibly strong micro moments where it's the marriage of various types of materials that you would not expect to, to combine together. And that's where I think the real abstraction in this project really shows itself.